Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Good morning, kiddos. Uh, hey, asshole. I was wondering if you'd be up for doing a clarity test video on the following. Rocco Sifredi, Zoltan Bathory, and Kurt Schilling. All right, well, let's get cracking here. Sound Italian. Very Italian sounding today. And yes, the Capmeister just got up. Rocco Sifredi. 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 Italian pornographic actor. <laughs> what? Oh God, guys. God, I, the, they're gonna do a pie chart when I die. Where did Aaron make his money? Let me tell you about these clarity test things. Okay, Zacco is a Freddy foreign. Rocco Antonio Tano in 1964 is an Italian pornographic actor, director, producer of pornographic movies who is known as Mattia Conti. He took his stage name from the character Rock Sofredi, played by Alain, Alain Delon in the French gangster film Borsalino in 1970. And known as the Italian Stallion, okay, Sofredi has starred in more than 1,300 pornographic films. Oh my god. It's like that, um, it sounds great, but then you let it, when you, was it David, King David had like 3,000 gals in his concubine? And you do the math, that's like, no, you couldn't have, there's no way. You, that, you'd be so sick of sex by that time. Um, retirement, personal life. I don't know if we're going to um, find his youth or anything. He retired from performing porn for the sake of his children and said, focus on direction and production. My children are growing up. He said, I can no longer just say, dad is going to work to make money for the family. They want to know more. How are they not going to find him? In that day and age, how... <sighs> Personal life. He had a three-year relationship with one gal. He was married to another gal, Hungarian model, who met in 1993. Performed with two years later. Popular cult. We got nothing. We got nothing on him. <clears throat> nothing about his youth. Uh, how did he start... Started in 64, 85. So he started when he was 21. He, I'm going to assume, did not come from a wealthy family. Let's try Rocco Sofredi bio. Oh, he's 19. Okay. In a good year, he makes around 200000 At 17, he quit his college of technology and went to Paris, where he worked as a waiter at his brother's restaurant. Okay. <clears throat> All right. If you're 17 working at a, as a waiter, you didn't come from money. He has real-world working experience. All of his work would be considered real-world because I know you guys think, hey, porn, but dude, you got to work out. You got to diet right. You got to look good for the camera. Um... Then he directs. I'll give him credit for that. I mean, and then the guy worked until he retired. Now he's probably a stay-at-home dad. Um, didn't major in stupid stuff. What's he doing now? Raising his kids. I, so what? No stupid degree. Didn't come from wealth. Has real-world private, <laughs> private sector, if you know what I'm saying. Private sector experience. And uh, retires to take care of his kids. Yeah, perfect score. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes, I would. Should he run for public office? Yes, he should. Uh, I think it reminds me, there's a gal in Nevada who's a judge who was originally a stripper. And I think working with, with well, normal people, not having silver spoons shoved up your ass, among other things, um, that's a little bit more close to the real world and human psychology than you're going to get. Uh, yeah, all right, so Rocco... 
Safredi, perfect score on the Clary test. Zero, which is a good, that's the best score. And uh, yes to both. Zoltan, where are you getting these names? Zoltan, save us, Zoltan. Mm, <clears throat> some superhero. If this is another por porn star, what the, who is this? Zoltan Bathory is a Hungarian-born American musician and martial artist. He's a founder, rhythm guitarist, and one of the main songwriters of the Las Vegas-based multi-million dollar record-selling heavy metal band Five Finger Death Punch. In 2010, he was named Golden God's Best Shredder by, I guess, uh, guitar player. Founding board member of the Veterans Nonprofit Home Deployment Project in Las Vegas. Uh, and sits on the board of advisors of VetPaw, Veterans Power of to Protect African Wildlife. I wonder if he's a veteran then too. Ba 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 da ba. Career. Joined the post grunge band UPO in 2004. When was he born? When was he born? Doesn't say when he was born. Why is it not said when he's born? Looks significantly younger than me. Replacing Ben Shirley on bass, he left the band in 2005, switched back into cu to guitar, and went from went on to form the heavy metal band Five Finger Death Punch. Five Finger Death Punch recorded their debut album in 2006 with engineer Steve Bruno and Mark Sarkisian. Sarkisian. Mixed by Soulfly. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Produced 700,000 copies. Okay. Spawned three top ten singles. All right, 2013, band released, still playing, still playing. Nominated for a Golden God Award. 2017, it was announced that Bathory expanded to artist management and took a new band, Bad Wolves, under his wing. Bad Wolves, Miss Obey. May 18th by 11 Records. I'm just looking at dates right now. Certified Platinum. Um, <clears throat> I need personal life. He's a martial artist, Judo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Member of uh, Gracie Humayatara? I never saw that. Silver medal? Okay, he's good. Oh, yeah, he's real good. Okay. You would call him sir. What? Th what's with uh, Wikipedia not helping me out here with the uh, personal stuff? He has real world working experience. Continues to work today. I like how he's helping out with uh, the vets. But we got nothing. Did he come from money and did he major in stupid stuff? I mean, I can assume he didn't come from wealth. Famous birthdays. Uh... <clears throat> 1978, here right, he is younger than me, he's 40. So if he started 2005, 80, 75, he was just, he's 28 too. Is that the math? Is that the math? 28, yes. Uh, before of him in Los Angeles from 2004. Co-founded, da da da, da da da. Hang on, hang on. Of course, that's how it works. So glad I'm moving. So glad I'm moving. Oh, this will be so much nicer when I move. So much nicer when I move. Alright. So he was dicking around for a while there. There was some wandering in the desert. So what did he do before? Man, there's nothing on this guy. Was born in Hungary. Okay, he was born in Hungary. 1978. That was still... Was Hungary communist back then? Hungary, founding member. Uh, Let's find out, when was Hungary... Did communism fall in Hungary? Nineteen eighty nine. Okay, so he was he was brought up under communism. Uh, I'm just gonna assume he did not come from wealth. Um, it doesn't say anything about him what he majored in or what he studied. Um, I'm 
on stage meltdown, drama about bands, I don't care. Fandom, all right. Hungarian born musician, career. He goes right, there's nothing about the guy. Like, oh, hey, he grew up here, he did this, he studied that, and he has a, a daughter, or he's got a, a brother. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna assume since he came from communism, he didn't study stupid stuff. You don't usually hear, I studied painting when I was in Moscow in 1987. Uh, I'm just going to assume. We don't know. This is, this is to be determined. No stupid degree. Did not come from wealth because you socialists hate wealth. Uh, real world working experience, obviously. What's he doing now? Still playing. He gets a perfect score. Tentatively. Asterisk. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yeah, it'd be interesting. That's kind of a very colorful background, jujitsu, and then he's in, raised under communism, and now he's here in the United States. He's doing. It, 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 I bet you. Yeah, that was the Perestroika era. I bet you they were looking. He's like, I want to become a rock and roll musician. Um, should run for office? I don't know. I would need to know what his degree was. I would need to know. He's just, is he like? Yeah, man, I'm going to Ryan, we're going to give all the money away. His his charity work for Let's Vets Helping Out, something in Africa. Mm. Uh, but probably, again, better than your average politician. So I guess I'd have to say yes. You know, but I would not be necessarily voting for the guy. So we have that. All right. <clears throat> Final one. Kurt Schilling. I've heard that name before. Come on. Kurt Schilling, baseball. Boy, we are covering all over the place, aren't we? Former major baseball, major league baseball right-handed pitcher, former video game developer, <coughs> and former baseball color analyst. He helped lead the Philadelphia Phillies to the World Series in 1993 and won championships in 2001 with the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2004-2007. With the Boston Red Sox retired, da 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 ba da ba. Yeah, okay. After reti retiring, he founded Green Monster Games, which was renamed 38 Studios. The company released Kingdoms of Am Amalur Reckoning. Three months later, Schilling laid off his entire staff amid severe financial troubles. As a radio personality, Schilling was signed by the Howie Car Radio Network to do a Sunday, Saturday morning politics and sports show. Outspoken conservative Schilling joined Breitbart in 2016. Man, this guy is all over the place. Hell yeah. I'll tell you right now, yes, I do want to have a beer with him. I'm going to... Okay, here we, here we go. Already. Already. They're going to go right to his, his baseball career. I'm going to find out nothing about him. Graduated from Shadow Mountain High School in Phoenix. 1985, before att attending Yavapai College in Prescott. <clears throat> Personal life. Pittsburgh. Lived in Massachusetts. In 20,000 square home. Sounds like he had a lot of success and pissed through it. Born in the state of Alaska. Cancer. Ah, oh, dang, he's got cancer. That's too bad. Cancer was in remission. That's good. That's well, made with potassium nitrite. That's bad. But here's a free cookie. That's good. <clears throat> Charity work. Conflicts with management. Conflicts with media. Gaming. Internet. Public speaking. Let's go to reference number six. Kurt Schilling. The Arizona Republic. Oh, come on, you fucking internet whore. Let's go. Let me guess. The internet ended. Oh, fuck. That would happen right now. <laughs> fucking Christ. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, the internet's not working. How much you want to bet? You sons of bitches. No, it is working. It's just Bing, Kurt Schilling, college. <sighs> Fuck. You have a pie. <laughs> After da, 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 what happened to Kurt Schilling? 
junior college. Kurt Schilling studied? <clears throat> Kurt Schilling is a nerd. All right. Studying my high school math teacher, but when my work is done, you should play late night. Da 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 da. Kurt Schilling. Yavapai. Yeah, Dude, you gave me some shitty ones. Not, it's not your fault, but it just. Like, hey, here's the guy and nothing about his background. Socks dropped out of Yavapai College. Okay, here's a biography, ESPN. During 86 year olds, all the done to performance, man, about about early years. All right. <clears throat> Born in 19 Anchorage, Alaska. His father served the U.S. Army for the better part of his career station Air Force Base. At the time, Kurt was brought home from the hospital. There was a baseball glove in the crib. They moved to Kentucky, Illinois, and fell in Phoenix. Father was a Pirates fan. All right. I'm going to assume, unless his dad was like a general or something, and even then, did not come from wealth. To make it to the varsity conversation, his first season in second round draft, professional career pioneers. All right, so he started playing right away. What he went to school for, we don't know because, to quote Joe Souchere, reporting isn't what it used to be. Yavapai Junior College, where are your degrees? Let's go to Yavapai, see if it's like a polytechnic or what. Well, they need a degree, hey! And I guess the internet's not working at Yavapai Community College either. Degrees and certifications. <clears throat> Associate of Arts, Elementary, Fine Arts, Business, General Studies, Science, General Education, Applied Science Degrees, Administration, Accounting, Advertisement, Computer Networking, Computer Net, all right, um, hmm. Gunsmithing. Wow. Look at all these certain... And there's welding. I, it's impossible to see. We don't know. I'm going to assume CC was a, a sports guy. Until someone proves me wrong, he picked some worthless degree so he could go play baseball. That's why... Because, you know, how many engineering majors do you know that play for the Washington Redskins? You know? It's Phil Phillips, and uh, he's a you know, graduate from... Clemson University, where he got his degree in communications. My gosh, what a smart man. Um, <clears throat> worthless degree. Did not come from wealth. Worked a real job, because being an athlete is a real job. Watching sports is not. Wearing another man's jersey is not. Uh, after retirement, goes and starts entrepreneurship. Becomes a radio show personality. He's got cancer, still going strong. So yeah, unless... You know, oh yeah, he was in welding. Uh, he only has one point against him um, because of his speculated, declared uh, major. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes. Should he run for public office? Yes. And there you go. That's the Clary test for all three of those guys. That was painful because it wasn't easy. And I like things to be easy. All right, questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you later. Toodles.